Greetings everybody and welcome to my September 2023 book haul. Um, I have three books to show you. I mean, I guess we'll show you this first one. This one came in the post. Dane Reads. Uh, this was sent to me by Rattle, which is a literary magazine which I have a subscription to because I submitted to some of their competitions. So uh, they have sent me, oh it's two, I thought it was only one. They have sent me Rattle issue number 81. Uh, and they've also sent me At the Car Wash by Arthur Russell. Uh, Rattle Chatbook Prize winner, so very cool. Um, and then also I've been doing a big clear out here and as part of that I've been taking some stuff to some charity shops. So obviously while I'm in there I take a look at what they've got and I picked up Invisible Monsters by Chuck Paulinick and On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. So I'm looking forward to both of those as well. Very exciting stuff. Oh hello, it's Wet Hair Dane here. Oh I have to lean in close, sorry about that. Um, I got some books from the charity shop today. I went to drop off some more vinyl records and I picked up three pretty decent sounding books. So I got This Which Is True by Miriam Margoyles. She's just a legend. Uh, Professor Sprout is how I first knew her, but um, yeah, she's a national treasure, it says on the back. She's very funny, so I've enjoyed all of the interviews and stuff I've seen with her. So uh, I got Hitler's Canary by Sandy Toxvig. Big fan of Sandy Toxvig. Um, she presents QI now. Um, but yeah, she's always been very interesting Danish lesbian. Uh, and then Morrissey, autobiography. So this caused a lot of controversy at the time because it was published by Penguin Classics. And obviously it's Morrissey. But um, yeah, lead singer of the Smiths. Let's, uh, let's see how it is. Yo, hello people. I, all my foot has gone to sleep. I got a couple of books from the charity shop. Uh, so, I got, uh, what have we got? A Concise Chinese to English Dictionary for Lovers by Xiao Lu Guo. I think that's how you pronounce it. I've been meaning to read this for ages because I read it like a sample of it from um, the vintage mini modern classics box set or whatever and it was fantastic. So I've been really want looking forward to getting towards this book in particular. Um, and then we have The Betrayal of Trust by Susan Hill. So this is one of her Simon Serrade uh, crime novels. To be honest, I've only read one of them so far and the crime wasn't solved at the end of it, so I was kind of like, you know, a bit weird. Um, but hey, it may, maybe it'd be okay. I think I prefer her ghost stories, NGL. But yes, two books to add to the list. My foot is still asleep, it's tingling. Hello, people of the internet. Um, I have some books to haul for you. Um, this one I have already added to my Goodreads, so this can go straight on my shelves. This is uh, William S. Burroughs and Allen Ginsberg, The Yeg Letters. Um, and yeah, this is kind of... I guess um, a collaboration between the two. It started out really just being a Burroughs thing and then became a collaboration between the two. And um, yeah, I actually got this as, um, I paid for it with a voucher that I got from Honey, you know, the browser extension, which like saves you money, hashtag not spawn. Um, but yes, pretty cool that I, I got this essentially for free. Um, and I'm slowly but surely work, working my way through all of Ginsburg and all of Burroughs. I actually picked this up because I'm closest to getting through all of Ginsburg. Um, and it says here it's uh, a mix of travel writing, satire, psychedelia, and epistory novel. So we will see. We will see what we will see. And then I got these from the charity shop today. I went out charity shopping with my mother. Um, I'm going out tomorrow as well. I actually have a whole ton of books to go through, to be honest, but a lot of them I still need to bring up from downstairs. Maybe I'll run down and grab them now. Um, but let's see, I got um, Copywriting Is by Andrew Bolton. 30 or so thoughts on thinking like a copywriter. Um, obviously, it's it's my job, it's what I do. Um, so it'll be interesting to, uh, to go through and see what we've got here. Then I have Robert Webb, Come Again. Uh, this appears to be a novel, I don't know very much about it, uh, yeah it is a novel, by uh, Robert Webb, who is a comedian, um, one half of Mitchell and Webb, he was also in Peep Show, um, which is one of my favourite programmes, so yeah, I've read his autobiography as well, How Not To Be A Boy, which was very good, so looking forward to seeing what he does with a novel. We have The Scapegoat by Daphne du Maurier, um, just like an old ass copy here. I will probably listen to this via audiobook anyway, um, but I'm slowly but surely working my way through all of du Maurier's books. We have The Highway Code, fully updated and complete. I don't know how fully updated it is. I mean, let's have a look what the fucking year on it is. Looks like it's 2013, so it's not the latest edition because it changes every year. Um, but yeah, Shay is learning to drive or wants to learn to drive. So um, yes, I thought I would would get her this when I saw it. 
Oh yeah, there's a Santa, this is totally off topic, but this came with one of the books. There's a Santa's Fun Run, um, Sunday, December the 3rd. Walk, run, push, jog, and raise money for your favorite charity, 5K Fun Run, um, which is which is pretty ten tempting. I might do it. I'll see if Shay fancies doing it as well, because I know she, well, I'm trying to get her into running, so maybe a charity run is the way to do so. Watch out, Biggs. Thank you. Then we have The Wizards of Once by Cressida Cowell. Um, she wrote that, so I keep putting these books in front of my face. Uh, she wrote the How to Train Your Dragon series, which I have read most of and very much enjoyed. This, I believe, is a standalone. Um, but yes, I just saw it and was like, yes, I will for sure pick that up. Right, let's go, let me go and grab some more for you. What about all these good reads afterwards? It's gonna take me all fucking year. Oh! All right, while I was in Marlow, actually, um, there was this little charity, not a charity place, a community organization, sorry, which had a load of local art. And this was one of the bits of local art they got. So I bought this and I'm going to frame this. Very cool, Clockwork Orange. I got The Long Knives by Irvin Welsh. Again, I'm just slowly but surely reading everything that he's written. A Room Swept White by Sophie Hanna. Um, funnily enough, the last book that I read was a Sophie Hanna. Again, slowly but surely getting through everything she's written. I got Vegan Cookbook for Beginners by Brockridge Press, I guess. Does it not have the name of... No, it doesn't. it's not given a name to whoever put this together. But anyway, um, I'm just going to go through, see if there's any um, recipes in it that I want, and then I'm going to give it to Shay. We have Richard Osman, The Bullet That Missed, which I believe is Marlow Murder Club book number three, and I've read one and two. I hope that I've got that right, because otherwise I've got them, got them out of order. Um, yeah, those books are okay. So, again, slowly but surely getting to them. The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. I got this for Shay. Oh, it looks like it's my face. Uh, I got this for Shay because she gave me, um, uh, what's it called? Concrete Rose, which is the prequel. So she'd read that, but not read the original. Um, I got Q by Christina Dolcher. She wrote Vox. Q seems to be about IQ tests, basically, um, or a send up of them, you know. I got Becoming by Michelle Obama, Michelle Obama's autobiography. And finally, I got The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Um, I read that one, Daisy Jones and the Six, and really liked that. I've been intrigued by The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo as well. Um, so I'm looking forward to finally getting to this because I've been looking out for it for a while. So unless I've missed something, which I don't think I have, those are the those are the books. Um, but I am also going out to the charity shops with my mum tomorrow, so I'll probably find more. Alrighty, uh, three books that I picked up while browsing the charity shops today. I got um, Love Among the Haystacks and Other Stories by D.H. Lawrence. Um, I've read two Lawrence novels. Uh, one was... Um, I remember the garden, it was called Mellors, but off, the title of it's completely gone out of my head. Anyway, I read his famous one, um, Mrs. Fuck, that's gonna bother me now. Lady Chatterley's Lover, that's what it was. Didn't find it, it just came back to me. Um, so yes, I've read that and another Lawrence, I can't remember which one, and I enjoyed it, so that was a good little find. I picked up Under the Milkwood by Dylan Thomas. Um, just because, why not? Bit of Dylan Thomas. And then I got uh, Iowadi on Iowadi, A Cinematic Odyssey, um, which is just Richard Iowadi. Hello, just the one book to haul for you today. This took nearly two months to arrive here. This is Handy Mandy in Oz by Ruth Plumley Thompson. So this is Oz book number 38 or something, 28 maybe. I don't know, I haven't got a clue to be honest. This is a very cheaply made public domain edition. Um, we must almost be at the point now though where these, these, I mean this was 1937 and I can't remember how long when stuff reaches the public domain but eventually we're going to be, be at the point where there won't be any of these cheap shitly made public domain versions available which is both good and bad because it might mean that I can't actually get hold of the book because it might be out of print. But yes, that is what I've received. I will be reading that soon to continue the Oz books. Hello, just a quickie, I've got some books in the post today which I, I won in a job lot on eBay. So we have five Arthur C. Clarke books. I'm not sure which ones of these I've read in the past. Um, I know there are a few that are new to me so I need to check on my Goodreads. But yes, yeah, so we have Arthur C. Clarke, Earthlight. Arthur C. Clarke, The Fountains of Paradise, I've definitely read that one. Arthur C. Clarke, The Hammer of God. 
Arthur C. Clarke, The Deep Range, and Arthur C. Clarke, Tales of Ten Worlds. So I think out of these it's just The Fountains of Paradise, which I have read, but I'm not 100% sure. Alright guys, just a one book to haul for you. This came in the post today. This is uh, Blood for Coins, The Sabres Nocturne Book 1 by Cam Wolf, Our very own Cam Wolf here on BookTube. I've been impressed with the quality of his stuff in the past. Uh, you get some good editing on board. I mean, it's got a map. It's really nicely cover design, interior layout, all of that stuff. Uh, one of the better indie authors in terms of the quality of the final product that I've uh, found. So yes, um, got, I think with Cell Swords. I like Cell Swords. So um, yes, looking forward to that. But anyway, that is it for this month. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.